Day on All Things 80s, it's another online sales rant. <laughs> Welcome back to All Things 80s. Now, once again, we have our weekly online sales rant. I found some pretty interesting stuff for you. So without further ado, let's get in there and check them out. Okay, so first of all, I was looking at Entertainment Earth and I came across these Barbie dolls with a Star Wars theme. Now the first one, they're calling it Star Wars X Barbie Darth Vader doll. Now I'm trying to understand who this is aimed at. Um, well, for a start, it, it barely resembles Darth Vader. I can see her sort of clutching his chest plate. It looks to be like a purse of some kind. She's wearing shades. Um, the packaging, uh, Star Wars Barbie. I, I will say this, the packaging is pretty cool, but what I don't like is this price of $99.99. I just don't know who who this is aimed at, and I don't know who is gonna pay that much for, for something like this. So there she is without her shades, and with the shades. Um, I really, I just do not understand this product at all. And funny thing is, it's not only Darth Vader. Now, they have a Princess Leia, which I can kind of understand because it pretty much is Princess Leia, although the, the dress is not quite accurate and she certainly never wore these sort of hooker-style, strappy, up-the-leg stilettos. Um, again, packaging seems pretty cool. Uh, the doll itself, I have no comment on because I certainly don't collect dolls. But again, $100 just seems rather excessive. And finally, in this range, we had the R2-D2 doll, which is probably the most ridiculous of the bunch. Uh, it's, I don't know what it's meant to be. It looks like blue hair, so she's probably a, a feminist. Now, is that C-3PO's, uh, I was going to say his cod piece, it's not his cod piece, but you know what I mean, that part of C-3PO's body seems to be the purse on this one. Uh, part of her uh, corset looks like it's, you know, R2's body, but just, to me, it's just absolutely ridiculous, and for $100, I don't think so. So moving on, I found this one. Now this came from another eBay, not eBay, sorry, a Facebook ad that popped up. A company called Retrogram. And they do customized greeting cards, but with a Star Wars theme. And at first glance, it's, it looks like it could be quite interesting. But then when I was scrolling down, I could see that they're doing it with incomplete vintage figures. So there's Princess Leia missing her cape blaster, there's Lando uh, missing his cape. So I wanted to see how much these things cost. So it seems as if you pick one, so let's just take happy birthday. So from there you select which character you want and it's got all the figures you can have listed here and these are not complete figures and in some cases they're just in I mean, look at the state of that. So let's just see how much R2-D2 was gonna cost us. So for this R2-D2, they are charging $69.99, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, of course, I did take a quick glance earlier, and lo and behold, Boba Fett comes up again. This one is $79.99, uh, missing the blaster, some serious paint wear. Uh, the cheapest one that I saw, I keep jumping too far back here, the cheapest one I could see, so they're from $14.99. So, trying to find one here, a character, so probably something like what, you know, reuse. Hey, come on. Reuse. Oh, that's $19.99. Figure itself looks okay, but of course missing its weapon. 
wonder what uh, C3PO is coming in at. $39.99. I guess it is a complete figure, but it certainly isn't worth 40 bucks. Uh, squid Head, let's see if it has its cloth cape. It certainly does not. And they want $19.99. It's, it's all pretty sad, really. E uh, Ewoks. Ewoks without their headdresses look ridiculous. And in this case, $39.99 for a stupid looking card. Uh, there's a uh, Ugnot missing his cape and little handbag. Uh, it's a thank you card. So from 19, so it's the same, the same thing. So they have the same list of beaten up figures. Uh, I just don't understand this. If they were mint figures, I guess if someone was to send me one that said happy birthday with a a mint figure, I might be quite happy with that, but not for an incomplete beaten figure and some of the prices they're charging is just extortionate. So in my opinion, Retrogram is an absolute waste of money. Now we got onto eBay and oops, eBay here. So this is interesting. This is a complete collection of uh, vintage Kenner figures. 1977 to 84 and it's high grade for $17,000 plus 200 shipping. So I thought, hmm, this is interesting. So I scroll down and they tell us it's an instant collection of the original classic Kenner Star Wars line from 1977 through 1984. Full last 17 Power of the Force line included with rare yak face also includes Sears uh, Cantina Adventure Blue Snaggletooth. Um, but there's no pictures and it says updated description and photos coming soon. Well, that's been the case for at least a month that I've been looking at this. So uh, if you feel adventurous and you want to waste your money, why not buy it now for 17 grand and not know what you're getting? I don't think so. And lastly this week, this one caught my attention. This is a $50,000 Boba Fett, and it's on a Return of the Jedi card, which is not in particularly a good condition. Now, the reason it's 50,000 is it's a factory error where there are two uh, inner trays and two blasters, and it's been graded by AFA and given a 50 overall. But if we look here, uh, you can almost see that there are indeed two inner trays and two blasters. But my question is this. Yes, it's a probably a unique one-of-a-kind piece, but the figure itself isn't rare. The card back is in terrible condition. Why would you pay 50 grand to get a factory error that contains two inner trays and two blasters. I really do not understand this. And then also the card back has had the, whoever had it scored out the ones they had. Now this is interesting. This collector must have come, must have been someone who started during the, uh, probably the Jedi line because they're missing most of the Empire and most of the Star Wars figures. But anyway, I digress. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is that this is simply not worth 50 grand. And in my opinion, this should only be selling for the sort of standard price of a mint on card Boba Fett. The fact that it has two inner trays and two blasters does not justify this $50,000 uh, price tag. Quite ridiculous, really. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and I trust you won't be wasting your money on some of the crap I just showed you. So anyway, please do like this video, please subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time looking at all things 80s.